Lately, I was working on creating my own system to simplify game creation for myself. And you might have seen some of that work. One of the videos that I did about it is Unity in easy mode. And I got a lot of positive feedback from that video. Now, at this point, I have a big task in front of me and it is to migrate all of my Billbox projects to Unity. I'm not going to go in details about the reasoning behind this, but that's what I decided is best for me to move forward in the direction that I want to go. And for this task, I had an idea of how I could simplify the migration. So I went ahead and cloned my system that I created for the Unity Easy Mode and renamed some of the units so that it would be easier for me to make that migration. So in this video, I want to share with you guys how it looks right now. And also I have published some of these units that you can try out. So if you're interested, stick around and I'll show you how you can import them and how you can start using them. So here is an example how a graph looks like. So right here I have a if collide and whenever we enter a collision, we trigger a jump and you can see that it creates this bouncy effect. I also have an is touch here and if we press, it should spawn another cube. So let's try to press on that cube. And you can see that another cube gets spawned once we click on one of those. This is just a simple example of a graph and how you can create it. But right here, I have a list of units that I created that will help me with the migration of all of my projects from Billbox to Unity. And these are the common units that I used in my project. Now, if you're interested in this project or you have some suggestions for the approach that I'm taking here, be sure to write that in the comments. But now let me show you how you can use some of the units that I provided as a demo that you can try out and see how it works. So let's start a new project. I'm going to use 2021.1.7. If you have this version or newer, you'll be able to follow along. Now for the template, you can use any template you want. You can use 2D or 3D. It's going to work for both, but I'm going to use a 3D. I'm going to call my project a demo Billbox to Unity Visual Scripting. Click Create. And now if you follow the link in the description to this package and the demo units, you can drag it into this assets folder. And that's going to bring this import unit package. Click import and we should get a new folder, BB adopter. If we go inside here, we can see these new files and these are the graphs or the units that you can use with Bolt. Now, if you don't see these icons right here, and if you click one of these, it doesn't actually bring up this analyzing code base and initialization process, then make sure you're using Unity 2021 and the version is higher than I have here. What you can do is go to Window, Package Manager, and then under Packages, make sure you select Unity Registry and search for Visual Scripting. So right there, I have Visual Scripting. It is imported by default for me, but in case it's not imported for you, make sure you have this package installed and that should get you to this point. So after we successfully complete the import, we can see that there are six units that I have here. So is touch, move, random, restart, rotate and touch. That's just the ones that I decided to include here. Now we can create a 3D object, let's say cube. Now for this cube, let's add another component and the component is called script machine. Now, if you have never used Unity before and you're not really sure what is where, I do have a getting started course on YouTube with just four videos. You can follow along and in several minutes, you'll be able to navigate around Unity. But right now, after we added the script machine, let's switch from graph to embedded and click added graph. Once we go and added graph, we get a new window with our graph in here. And this graph is where the logic of this game object is going to happen. There are two units here, a start unit and an update unit. We're not going to use an update unit and the start unit. You can use it or not. It's your choice, but let's try to use one of the units. So let's look for move. And here I can either use the enable on start option or you can connect from the start event. And it doesn't matter if you have unable on start on or off. You can specify the speed you want to move. It's in units per second. So let's say we're going to move two units per second. I can close this graph and click play. And there we go, our cube is now moving. A nice way you can use these units to create logic for your game is by modifying the game when you're actually playing it. But to do that, we need to convert this script machine from embedded to a graph so that it will actually save the changes that we do into a file. So let's click convert. I'll just call it cube graph. 
and that's going to create a new file right here for us in the assets called cube graph and it's connected to our graph right now so what we want to do now is arrange it so we can see the preview and the graph at the same time it does help if you have multiple screens but if you don't you still can arrange it and make it work so i'm going to switch to free aspect ratio and stretch it to the size i want my preview window to be then i can click add a graph to enter the graph move it around and we can make a layout something like that you can save these layouts in unity and all of that but i'm not going to be covering that so let me try to demonstrate the live changes so first let's make sure that we're not moving on start disable that and now as soon as the game starts we can see that nothing is moving and we can add some units so let's use is touch and right here we can connect pressed to enable and then release to disable how the is touch works we have to click on this box so if we click and hold it you can see it starts moving if we release it it stops moving let me add the other units that we have here so i have a touch unit and that will just listen for touch anywhere i have a restart unit this will restart the game another one we have is rotate and a random unit so these are the six units so let's try to make something interesting with this so what I want to do is when I'm holding the mouse down to move in one direction and when I release it's going to go in the other direction. I'm going to select the move unit, duplicate it and here we'll just switch the direction to negative two. Now in Billbox you could have connected multiple things to one output and that is not allowed in visual scripting because it actually creates race conditions and you probably got into those with Billbox you would use delays to try to avoid those race conditions. And the option that we have here is actually using a sequence. And the sequence is going to split from this one to whatever number of flows that we need. So you can say five. And the order that we see here is exactly the order that it's going to get executed. So that's the approach that they went with to avoid race conditions. The first step, we're going to enable this move node. And the second step, we're going to disable the other move. And now let's duplicate it by clicking Control D and do the opposite. So disable one move node and enable the other. So let's try it out and see how that's going to work. So if I hold it down, it moves one direction. If I release, it moves to another direction. And with a simple mechanic, you can actually make a pretty interesting game. But of course, you need a lot more art and stuff. Now, if we stop the game right now, you can see that all of the graphs are saved and that is because we were using the graph so it saves the state so that's just a short demo how you can use these units be sure you download those demo units and try to make some cool stuff with it see if this is something that you would like to use and if it's going to actually help you with game development make sure you write about your experience with these units in the comments so i can get the feedback there's lots more higher level units that i created for my system and if you find that this process is actually something you want to use, be sure to check out my collection of units. Currently, it's in early access and I'm still working on it. But if you want to give your input or support the project, you can always get the early access version. But I hope what I'm doing here is actually helpful for you guys. So if you found this video helpful, click on that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.